We have this crazy paradox where we trust you, but we don't understand what you do. Now, I think that's a problem for school nurses and students and their families. I think it's a problem for hospital nurses. It's a problem for nurses everywhere they are uh, because this social paradox, this paradox of trust and lack of understanding means that we can't support what you need because we don't know what you need because we don't know what you do. What I am a champion of is for nurses to move from silence to voice, for nurses to give us a better understanding of what nurses do wherever they are doing it. Nursing organizations in general and nurses in general, when they do talk about their work, they tend to talk not about their knowledge, but about their virtues. And virtue and knowledge is very different. And the reason why I think they either don't talk enough about their work or talk about it in a very particular sentimentalized, emotionalized way is not only because nursing is now in the 20th century, it didn't used to be women's work, but because of the religious origins of nursing. Nurses often don't have enough of a firm concept of respect. So let's look at this concept of respect versus liking. What do people say when they've had a good experience with a doctor? They often say, oh man, was he, she smart? Did he, she know his, her stuff, right? He really knows his stuff, right? What do they also say? Well, if you don't pay them well, you won't get the best and the brightest. How many of you heard, have heard that over and over again, right? What do they say about nurses when they've had a good experience with a nurse? Oh, she's so nice. She's so sweet. And if she's smart, she should become a, a doctor, right? That's kind of like saying to me, Suzanne, you know, you're really smart and you're articulate and, you know, you, you ought to become a guy, right? <laughs> I am very concerned that nurses are telling a story and using images that contradict the import and seriousness of the work they do, that trivialize the import and serious of the work, seriousness of the work they do. If you look at, at hospital publications or doctor publications, you know, doctors always look like him, like they have something really important to tell the patient. They look like these guys, you know, like this. And nurses are always sort of smiling beatifically at the patient, you know, at the camera. I mean, they even smile at machines. It's amazing. <laughs> You're being set up and sometimes setting yourselves up for a fall that you cannot afford and we as your patients can't afford because we are the, this country is not going to pay for nurses if they think that it's just, you know, oh, they don't really do anything. They don't solve problems, you know. They just are sweet. We are never going to pay nurses what they need. We are never going to fund nursing education. We are never going to fund enough school nurses if we think that. I want to thank you for what you do, and I want to encourage you that when you're thinking about these opportunities for voice, please never think we don't want to hear from you because you're just a nurse. Um, I her, have heard that just a nurse so many times that it started to drive me crazy. People would call me up and they'd say, please speak about health care reform. You know, I'm just a nurse. You're an expert. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm not the expert. I'm just like a person. You are the expert, right? Um, people would say, oh, they, they, they don't want to hear from us. We're just a nurse. And what really drove me crazy was when I would start hearing NPs and advanced practice nurses say, oh, I don't want people to call me Nurse Jones because they'll think I'm just a nurse. And that really drove me over the edge. And that was the tipping point for my writing this, what I think of as a recruitment campaign, but some people think of a poem. And I'd like to close with that. I'm just a nurse. I just make the difference between life and death. I'm just a nurse. I am just have the educated eyes that prevent medical errors, injuries, and other catastrophes. 
I'm just a nurse. I just make the difference between healing, coping, and despair. I'm just a nurse. I'm just a nurse researcher. I just help doctors and nurses d deliver better, safer, and more effective care. I'm just a nurse. I'm just a nurse educator. I just make the difference. I just teach new and future generations of nurses. I'm just a nurse. I just manage complex and mo I just manage and monitor complex patients in teaching hospitals, patients who are on experimental toxic new treatments. I'm just a nurse. I'm just a geriatric nurse practitioner. I just make the difference between a patient staying at home and a patient going to a nursing home. I'm just a nurse. I'm just a school nurse. I just make it possible for children to stay healthy and learn in school. I'm just a nurse. I'm just a palliative care nurse. I just make the difference between a patient dying in agony and dying in comfort and dignity. I'm just a nurse. I'm just central to the real bottom line in healthcare. Don't you want to join us and be just a nurse too? Thank you.